This video is brought to you by Altium. In my previous video, I explained how to make a web server based home automation system using ASP32 Wi-Fi Plus Bluetooth module. For the demonstration purposes, I controlled 220 volt AC light bulbs. I will provide a link in the description if you want to make the same web server based home automation system using ESP32 Wi-Fi Plus Bluetooth module. This project is also based on the web server, but this time, instead of controlling the home appliances or other electrical loads, we will be monitoring some sensors, including the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor, BMP180 sensor, and the raindrop sensor. Previously, I used the ESP32 Wi-Fi Plus Bluetooth module, but this time, I decided to use the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. So if you want to use the ESP32 module, then go ahead and watch my previous video. And if you want to use the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, then you should definitely watch this video as I will be explaining each and every detail. In today's episode, you will learn how to make a web server based with a station using Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor, BMP180 sensor, and rain detector sensor. In this project, the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module is used as the web server, which stores the HTML code and code for monitoring all the sensors. You don't need to use your computer or laptop as the web server because you can use this low-cost ESP8266 Wi-Fi module as the web server. This with the station dashboard, which you can see on the screen, its code is running on the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, which you can modify to change the dashboard design. And of course, you can add code for monitoring some other sensors. You can open this with a station on multiple devices. All you need is to enter the IP address. I will talk about it in a minute. Anyway, with this with a station, I can monitor temperature, pressure, rain status, and humidity. As I said earlier, if you want, you can increase or decrease the number of sensors. All you need is to download the code from my website electronicclinic.com. Modify the code as per your requirement and that's it. Anyways, before I'm going to explain the circuit diagram and programming, first let's watch this ESP8266 web server based with the station in action. I connected all the sensors as per the circuit diagram which I will explain in a minute. Next, I connected my Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module with the laptop to upload the code. Once the code was uploaded, then I opened the serial monitor. For the first few seconds, I didn't see any text on the serial monitor. If the same thing happens to you, all you need to do is to press the reset button on the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and uh, you will start receiving the data. You can see the ESP8266 module is now connected with a Wi-Fi router. You can also see the IP address and the HTTP server started message. You need this IP address for opening the weather station dashboard. All you need is to select the IP address and then press Ctrl plus C on the keyboard. Open the web browser, paste the IP address and then press the enter key on your keyboard. My ESP8266 web server based weather station can display all the sensor values. Now let's go ahead and check all the sensors one by one. This video is sponsored by Altium. Ultium Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. Ultium Designer enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every facet of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Ultium Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. Route it your way through any angle, tune for delay, push, slide and walk around faster than ever. 
interact and collaborate with mechanical designers like never before in a photorealistic 3D design environment. If you want to get started with the Ultium Designer, you can click on the first link in the description. First, let's start with the raindrop sensor. Currently on the dashboard, you can see no rain. Let's sprinkle some water on the raindrop sensing pad which consists of the nickel coated lines. On the dashboard, you can see the rain status changes from no rain to raining. Now let's check the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor. The temperature and humidity values which you can currently see on the weather station dashboard are from the DHT11 sensor. Let's go ahead and apply some heat to the DHT11 sensor and let's see if the temperature on the screen is going to increase. If you have used the DHT11 sensor then you should know this sensor is a bit slow. You can see rise in the temperature which means the DHT11 sensor is working. The pressure value which you can see on the screen is from the BMP180 sensor which is capable of measuring the temperature, pressure and altitude. Right now I am only reading the pressure from the BMP180 sensor while the temperature I am reading from the DHT11 sensor. My raindrop sensor module, BMP180 sensor module and the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor modules are working perfectly. Now you have got the idea of what exactly you are going to learn after watching this video. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. Basically, Raindrop Sensor is a tool used for sensing rain which consists of two modules, a rain board that detects the rain and the control module which is interfaced with the controller board. The Raindrop Sensing pad consists of nickel coated lines. It works on the principle of resistance. This rain sensor module allows to measure moisture via analog output pins and it provides a digital output when a threshold of moisture exceeds. When rain drops or water is present on the sensing pad, it reduces the resistance because water is a conductor of electricity and presence of water connects nickel coated lines due to which its resistance reduces and this reduces the voltage drop across it. All the four pins on the control board of the raindrop sensor are clearly labeled as A0, D0, ground and VCC. If you want to read the analog values then use the A0 pin or if you want to read the digital signal then use the D0 pin or if you want you can also use both the pins at the same time. On the other side of the raindrop control board we have this blue color potentiometer which is used to set the threshold value. For more details, read my article available on electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. The BMP180 is a very interesting sensor. By using this sensor, we can get the temperature, pressure and altitude. BMP180 is an I2C supported sensor. This is a high precision, small size and ultra low power consumption sensor. This sensor can be powered up using 1.8 to 3.6 volts. All the four pins are clearly labeled as VN, ground, SCL and SDA. This is the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor and I have used this sensor in so many projects. I have used it with Arduino, STM32, Raspberry Pi, ESP32, Node MCU, ESP8266 etc. I will share with you all the links. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the circuit diagram. The circuit diagram is very simple. Connect the VCC pins of all the sensors with 3.3 volt pin of the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. 
Similarly, connect the ground pins of all the sensors with the ground of the Node MCU module. We have multiple ground pins on the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module, so you can use any of the ground pins. Next, connect A0 pin of the Raindrop Sensor Control module with the A0 pin of the Node MCU module and connect the D0 pin of the control board with the D0 pin of the ESP8266 Wi Fi module. Connect the SCL and SDA pins of the BMP180 sensor with the D1 and D2 pins of the Node MCU module, which are the I2C pins. Finally, connect the data pin of the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor with the D6 pin of the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module. So, that's all about the connections. This is my Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module based development board which I use for testing my IoT based projects. If you want to make the same development board, then you can watch my previous video. I will provide a link in the description. If you are using the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module for the first time, then I highly recommend watch my getting started video on the Node MCU module. In that video, I have explained how to install the Node MCU board using the Arduino IDE. As you can see, I have already installed my Node MCU board. Anyway, I connected all the sensors with the Node MCU module as per the circuit diagram. And now let's take a look at the programming. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. You can see the code is divided into two parts. The index.h consists of the code that creates the weather station dashboard for you. If you have some knowledge about the HTML coding, then you can easily modify this code. You can download this code from my article. This part of the code is the actual code which reads all the sensors and then send the values to the web server based with the station dashboard. I'm not going to explain the entire code. I have already explained all of these sensors and different projects. So go ahead and watch my previous videos. Anyway, these two files are need to be inside the same folder. Now let's go ahead and upload the program. Open the serial monitor, copy the IP address, open the web browser, paste the IP address. The project working I have already explained in the beginning. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode. And thanks for watching.